Hello everybody, this is my second vlog. Well, my eighth or ninth vlog, I think actually, but my second vlog in this new series, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you may notice very quickly, I'm not in my house, I'm actually outside. This is for a couple of reasons. Um, firstly, because it's just good to get outside, something a bit different. Um, and it, I suppose, means it doesn't seem so business-like, almost. So, you know, trying something a little different. Um, as well as that, it also means that um, I don't get randomly stumbled upon while in the middle of my vlog, like I was last time. Um, which is good. Um, I know you're like, why don't you do it in your room or something like that and lock yourself in or whatever. Well, I've done that before, but people can still knock at the door or whatever and as well as that I don't actually have a computer in my room that's connected to the internet. I've got my iPod which is what I'm using right now so I suppose it could do that but still better to get outside. Um, though of course you can still have people randomly stumble upon you here but slightly less likely. Like, likely? Sorry. Um, though admittedly we are right next to oh, hang on the golf course, which you can kind of... Oh! <laughs> Managed to get a spyweb on me. Anyway, next to the golf course, which is just over there, through that fence, that I'm guessing you could see on the camera. I'm not really sure. Oh, fun spiderweb. Love it. Love it. Oh. One of the not-so-great things about going out in the middle of the forest, or... Forest. Wood, or whatever you want to call it. Bush. Bush, that's a much, much better word, but anyway, I, I seem to attract spiderwebs quite well. Anyway, yeah, so that's the golf course there. <laughs> you can see it quite nicely there, hopefully. Um, anyway, so yeah, I suppose the... Anyway, getting on to the point of the vlog. Uh, you can't see me too well there, hang on. Let's see, nah, nah, okay. Let's get back to my spot that I was in before, so you can actually see my face. I know, why on earth would you want to see my face? My goodness! Oh, I'm just so ugly and hideous and ah! Oh. No, um, anyway. <sighs> Moving on. Okay, so the point of this vlog, I'm actually doing this a uh, day after I did the previous one. I probably won't upload it um, today because the rest of my day is somewhat busy. Um, so I'll probably upload it Probably not tomorrow either, or rest of this weekend, so I might upload it Monday, is my best guess as to when I may upload it. Um, yes, just looking at ants scurrying along on the ground, hoping that they don't bite me would be nice. Ant bites are not nice. Uh, maybe I should just walk around while I'm doing this. Anyway, so yes, the point of this vlog. Well. Um, as readers of my blog may have noticed, so it has been happening a bit on my Facebook as well, a lot of my posts, statuses, um, and etc, etc, have been managing to go on more to the, um, feeling side of things, I suppose, um, touchy-feely, love, etc, etc, etc. Um, quite a bit, especially in my blog, if you follow that or look at that or whatever. Um, quite a bit. And some people may be wondering, okay, what, what's, what's happened, what's happened, has, has he gone soft or has he, I don't know, addled his brain or something, been reading too many soppy romance novels lately? Um... Uh, I haven't been reading romance novels. Um, I'll tell you that much. I haven't been reading a lot at all lately, actually. I know it seems strange, me not reading. Anyway, um, essentially, I suppose it's. Well, um, ah, how to say these sort of things. I'm not very good at saying things. If you didn't get it, or coming up with things on the spot is, is more the thing. Well,. I'm generally good at knowing what to say, it's more how to say it. 
that I tend to stumble around on, particularly when it's improv, which is why I've thought of semi-scripting these sort of things, but of course being outside I don't exactly have a script here with me. Um, but anyway, I'll try not to make this too long. And I'm failing at that miserably, already up to oh, five and a half minutes, and I haven't even gotten... Anyway. So, yeah, I suppose the thing is with me that there's always been two sides of me. There's been the side that, well, I suppose most people would probably know quite well. There's, you know, all the science, the maths, the words, the numbers, the, the smart, essentially. Um, and, you know, I get a lot of that from my dad. And that side has kind of been the dominant, I suppose you could say, for most of my life. Um, but, you know, with the good, good parts of that side has been the bad sides, you know. And so that, you know, with that has come apathy at times, being uncaring or lazy. I don't know if that actually comes with that part or comes with something else, I'm not really sure. Spider web there. Try and avoid it. Yes, I think I did. Oh, and then I walked into another one. Of course, of course. Ugh, how it works, the law of the bush. Avoid one spider web and walk straight into another one. Anyway, so I, I suppose me, of late I've been and by of late, I suppose, over the last few years. I don't know, particularly over the last few months, I suppose, but it's kind of gradually happened over the last few years. I've been trying to, I suppose, reinforce more of my emotive side, my feeling side, and, like, it's quite heavily there. I mean, you know, that's where, you know, my music comes from, my creativity my writing, I suppose, a lot of it, um, or particularly my creative writing, I suppose you could say, and, like, it might seem strange to think of me as a particularly feeling person, but I actually am under all this, I suppose you could say, shyness, social awkwardness, etc, etc, etc talked about it a hundred times on my blog at least. Um, yeah, you, you, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, I suppose a lot of me um, rambling on a bit about all this, about love and feelings and all this sort of thing is I suppose me trying to reinforce that in myself as much as anything else. Um, I mean, there's more to it than that. There's always more to everything than anything that... Uh, that doesn't make sense. Well, it does, but it probably doesn't to you when I'm saying it like that. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> uh, don't they always? Anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, just commenting on the nature of my surroundings at the moment. I'm kind of just wondering where the path takes me. Um, I find things interesting. It's what I do. I'm a curious person. Often too curious for my own good, but that's a whole nother discussion. Um, anyway, so I suppose I just wanted to... Oh, school over there, apparently. Hence the fence. Interesting. Um, yes, I just wanted to address that point, I suppose, because I guess that a couple of people would find it somewhat strange, particularly since I think most people kind of see me as the characteristic shy, smart guy, or whatever, nerd, geek, etc, etc, etc. Look up the song, Teacher's Pet, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, this is cool. Anyway, um, and like, I'm 
fairly certain that some people, like, well, on one of my statuses more recently, one person commented, are you in love, Brendan? Because you seem to be making a lot of statuses about love lately, and so I was getting curious. Um, so I was like, yes, I should probably um, put this video up. Um, yeah. So I suppose that's about it, more or less. Um, so I suppose essentially summing up, I'm not going crazy. I've already been crazy for a while. Um, <laughs> um, I'm still the guy that I've always been. I suppose just attempting to express more of my emotive side. Um, if you've ever read um, Artemis Bell in the Atlantis Complex, um, if you haven't, go have a look. Pretty good book. Um, I suppose it's expressing a bit more of the Orion in me. Um, and it can get that extreme at times, but... Um, hmm, how to say that? I don't let it get quite that extreme. Um, it probably could if I wanted it to, but... <laughs> moving on from that, so... Yeah something along those lines without getting too cliched or whatever anyway that's it for now hope you enjoy and hopefully i should be able to find my way home from here see you next time